Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're going to look at the Ledger screen. So I'll go ahead and click on Ledger here at the top of my screen. You can basically live in the Ledger screen, meaning you can do almost anything you need from right here and make the Ledger screen your home base. <clears throat> from the top of the screen here in the Patient field, if you right click, you can go ahead and add a new patient on the fly. Just click on New Patient. And then this will take you to the Patient Information screen where you can add a new patient from scratch. We'll go ahead and cancel out of the screen and we'll pick a patient here that we've already added. So let's go ahead and find our patient we want to work with. Let's see, I think Garcia was my new patient that I added, Jose or Maria. <clears throat> and then from here, you can delete, add, edit procedure codes for your patient. So we'll go ahead and you can either again right click to add a new transaction. Or on the left-hand side of your screen, you can click on New Transaction. So we'll go ahead and select New Transaction. Let's go ahead and let's see. I think we had done a root canal. Let's go ahead and add a PA. So we'll type in D0220 for our PA. And you can press it. For those of you who want to go really fast, you can use your shortcut key, Shift F3, to do Save and New. And we'll go ahead and add another uh, procedure. Let's go ahead and we'll add an additional PA, D0230 to add another uh, pre apical I'll go ahead and we can click on save changes let's do save a new if you choose if you don't know your code you can click on the little magnifying glass and you can filter your procedure list by classifications and so if we're looking for uh, preventative or actually diagnostic type procedures you can go ahead and filter by that it will show you all your various diagnostic procedures and here's our two different PAs our original PA and our additional PA so if you don't remember the code, no problem. You can look it up. So we'll go ahead and let's just go ahead and cancel out. We've already saved our two uh, PAs that we added. Um, let's see. From the ledger screen, um, you can quickly see what the total amount billed is. It's $622, but it also shows you a breakdown. We can see that Delta Dental of Arizona is $475, and our head of household, uh, Maria Garcia, is $147. Let's move over to the right. And you can see the individual max and the family max. In this case, they're the same. And if there's a deductible, it will denote the deductible here at the bottom, the denominator side. And the top, we can see that none of the deductible has been met, zero and fifty dollars. We can also view the insurance max of a thousand bucks, and then pending uh, procedures of a four hundred seventy-five dollars that will be applied towards that max. Another very neat thing is the at the top of your screen is your aging. You can see that we have $622 um, that is current uh, within the last 30 days that we've built to the insurance or about to build to the insurance. From the screen we can create a claim on the fly. All you have to do is click on create claim and with Indenimax you will be able to view your interactive claim editor. And then from here you can go ahead and add additional notes if you want. Add addition, add notes. <laughs> you can also add radiographs or indicate that you have a radiograph being submitted with the claim. We'll add two right here. And then click on Save Changes. So that's very easy to do. Another neat thing about Dentamax is that you can jump from the ledger screen to virtually any other area of the program. Uh, for example, if we have a question about our insurance, here we have Delta Dental right here. Just click on it and it will take you right to Delta Dental of Arizona. If you have a question about the fee schedule, no problem. Click on it, and it will take you right to the fee schedule. If you want to go back to your previous screen, just like the Internet, if you're perusing web pages, you got a back button just like that. You can click on the back button to go back to your previous screens. And so the program is extremely intuitive. Whether your employees know it or not, they already know how to maneuver through the program because it's very similar to the Internet Explorer and other Microsoft products. Let's go ahead and print out a statement for Maria. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on print walkout. With several walkout statements to choose from, we'll go ahead and choose the anticipated family walkout. Click on print. And this will render our family walkout statement. You can see by procedure what was uh, the amount for that procedure. And then you can also see the patient portion that's owed, $147 in this case, and you can also see the pending insurance amount. One more thing, let's go ahead and show you how to apply a payment. Um, so we uh, build the insurance, we printed out our walkout statement, let's, let's go ahead and apply that $147 from the head of household, Maria. Go ahead and we'll click on 
add patient patient payment and we can click on pay this amount and the program automatically knows where to apply that $147 applies it to the correct procedure we'll click on save changes to have this applied as a patient payment um, removing our head of household owed amount, owed amount bringing it down to zero in addition to applying our payment uh, let's maybe go ahead and submit the claim uh, for the uh, all the claims for today we'll go ahead and we'll click on claims here at the top of our screen we have one claim to be submitted. Normally, you'll have a whole list. You can cr click on Create Claims to make sure that all your procedures made it onto a claim. In this case, there are no other procedures in our uh, demo database. To submit your claim, you can go ahead and click on Send eClaims. The Denimax will send your claim electronically to one of two clearinghouses, either to Apex, EDI, or Claim Connect. Well, um, I hope you can see that the Denimax ledger is extremely easy to use and very thorough. And in fact, you can live in the ledger if that's the only part of the program you want to use. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration, and I look forward to being able to share the next tip of the week with you.